Lady, you certainly don't look like somebody that's just been shipwrecked. And I certainly feel like it. Did you see anything charcoal? Who? Joe, was short. He helped me into the lifeboat, I think. I thought this boat was abandoned. Not by me, buddy. It looked pretty good to me. What part of the ship were you from, darling? Engine room. I was off doing the washroom, thanks. Caught with my... I was washing my hands when the torpedoes like this. Most of the crew were trapped like rats. When I got the top side, it was a shambles. Quite an item. Reminded me of an air raid once it hit me in Chunking. Reminded me of a slaughterhouse I once worked at in Chicago. Those Nazi buzzards of ten fish ain't enough. They've got to shell us, too. Ah, now I can perfect my backhand. Get that, it might come in handy. Let's have a cap, too. What are we worrying about this junk for? Let's take a look around for some of the others before that U-boat surfaces again and sees us. She won't surface. One of our shells got her. Are you sure? She was killed dead, darling. Went down like a rock. Did you see it? It's all in here, my pet. You're Constance Porter. I heard you were aboard. So you took pictures, huh? And what pictures? Priceless. Oh, I caught some wonderful shots on deck. A little knot of people around one of the lifeboats. They looked slow and heavy and fat with the lifeboats on. So lonesome. Then a shell hit the lifeboat. They all jumped overboard. I got a beautiful shot of the gun crew firing at the submarine, but the best of all was in the boat here with Joe. I got the freighter going down. One of the lifeboats caught in the suction and pulled under. I got some of the U-boat crew jumping overboard, and I also got... <gasps> Look! That's a perfect touch. What did you do that for? Why don't you wait for the baby to fall by and photograph that? Help! Yeah, anyway! You stupid, clumsy son of a... Why don't you look where you're going? Absolutely irreplaceable stuff. Price is the best thumb I ever took. Go to the bottom of the sea. That's better than going there yourself. I wouldn't have parted with that thumb for a million dollars. When will I ever get stuff like that again? Oh, stupid, clumsy... Maybe we can arrange another shipwreck for you sometime. Sparks, would you have time to send out an SOS? Hardly. First shell from you boat into the radio shack. Keep going, Corbett. There's more people out there. Where'd this come from? It's floating by. Miss Mackenzie! She's out there. She's alive. Come on, Kovac, come on. There's somebody out there. To your right, Kovac. That's three of them. Swing over, Kovac. Hurry, we've got a wounded man. Step on it. Jane. Never mind me. Help me, please. Oh, hang on. Well, folks, we're in business again. Somebody gonna give me a hand? Rich. Oh, rat. Connie! <laughs> Did you come from the freighter or, or the stock club? Still striking oil, I see, Harry. Eh, really? How'd you, how'd you get I'll have this off, Yannon Jippy. Come on, Case Box. What happened to Norman? I was on my way from the bridge to bring him our position. A shell from the U-boat hit the radio shack. I was at the wheel waiting for Hennessy to relieve me. Just set to mug up some hot java and... Holy smokes, look at this mess. Maybe we'd better get the raft back. You think we'll stay afloat? The buoyancy tanks are okay. She'll float even if we're waterlogged. I see you've even managed to get some of your luggage aboard. Just a bare necessity. Uh, look at that. Six full boxes and I had to grab this one. Don't cry, my pet. It'll last until we picked up. I hope. First show must have done for the skipper. Most of the sky gun crew. Now, what happened to the woman with the baby? Sit up in front of first aid kit. I thought everybody was killed. I never expected to see you alive. You know I'm practically immortal, Rick. I, I thought I was done for. See, we were playing poker in the saloon. Now, how do you get this thing off, anyway? Here's the first aid kit. It's been pretty well smashed up. Oh, I need something to cover him up with. Oh, let me have that blanket, please. Well, just well, share and share alike, I always say. Well, then, please. What for? You'll be more comfortable. I want to take a look at your leg. Oh, well, OK, babe. Maybe you'll let me return a compliment someday. Right on, please. I think it's got a hook of slug in it. Yes, sir. It was the biggest part of the game, but believe you me, I never even stopped to collect it. <laughs> that part meant the baby Jones. Well, not all of it. Here's 20 bucks Mr. Jones didn't get. Oh, sure. It's floating in the water. Well, keep it. Look on, I insist. It's, it's probably legitimate as salvage. You want the crew, son? A black gang. Oh, the name's Kovac. Kovac gang. My name's Rittenhouse. Right. Rittenhouse. That's right. C.J. Rittenhouse? C.J. Rittenhouse. Junior. Here. Yeah. Are you sure there's not something on my left in the kit? Try not. Hey. No. Hey, is this right now? That you might like to keep it as a souvenir. Nah. My hide was full of that stuff on our last trip. Hold it steady. I ought to have my head examined. This is the fourth time I've shipped out since the war, and I ain't got no place yet. Gee, I wish I could make a complete round trip just once. How does it look? It's a pretty deep cut. It's leaking. I ain't gonna wind up with a gimpy leg, am I? No, not enough to interfere with your jitterbuggy. Jack, huh? Uh, tell us, Sparks. Why, he's the champion over of the Merchant Marine. Tell her what I've done in Jersey City. Listen, I caught two prizes at Roseway one year, and all the time I'm suffering something terrible from double pneumonia. I can now jive the rest of those hepcats even with a bum game. Everything under control, anything I can do? 
You ain't got a little something to drink on you. Sorry, son, not a drop. I have some brandy, darling. Oh, boy, I can sure go for some of that. I'll get my flask. No, in a case like this, the rule is to... Come on, we're among friends, ain't we? I don't think it's advisable. No, just one slug, and pick me up. Make up your mind, darling. <laughs> It's the steward. There's a woman. And a baby. Come on. Easy there. Yeah, Give me the baby. Are you all right, Joe? I got my feet wet a little bit. She was fighting me all the time in the water. She tried to drown the baby in the south with it. You're safe. The baby's safe. It's all right. And the danger's over. They're safe now. Nothing to worry about. Cases sent to America. Her child was born in New York. Said to me on the ship, I'm going home to show my husband the baby. Here, darling. You better put this on. Hey, look. Another customer. Well, where did he come from? See him with I never saw him before. Not off our Thank you, Shay. He's very grateful to us for having saved his life. Thanks very much to you, but was compelled to sink our ship. Ask him where they showed the lifeboats. That is, she's the other victims for The field is Captain's office. You ask me, he's the captain himself. Well, ask him if he's the captain. Is he the captain in the U-boats? No. He's been making a couple of zats. Can't He says he's not a captain or officer, just a crew member. A crew member or a skipper, he's German. A guy can't help you in German if he's born in German, can he? Either can a snake help being a rattlesnake if he's born a rattlesnake. Don't make him a nightingale. Get him out of here. Don't be silly, darling. He can't very well get off in the middle of the ocean. Now, can he? Throw him off. Have you gone out of your mind? Throw the Nazi buzzard overboard. It's out of the question. It's against the law. Whose law? We're on our own here. We can make our own law. Now, just a minute. He was acting under orders. Our freighter was an enemy ship. After all, we're at war. Is that woman at war? Is her baby at war? And listen, how come you know the lingo so well? And how come when I climbed into this lifeboat, you were the only one in it, all dressed up like you knew you were going someplace? I was going someplace. I was going into a lifeboat. What is this? Are you insinuating? You seem pretty anxious to stand up for your friend here. What do you mean, my friend? Now, children, let's keep our shirts on. I haven't got a shirt. Or a mink coat, either. Oh, I get it. A fellow traveler. I thought the common turn was dissolved. Now, 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 we're all sort of fellow travelers in a mighty small boat on a mighty big ocean. And the more we quarrel and criticize and misunderstand each other, the bigger the ocean gets and the smaller the boat. And the boat's too small right now for me and this German. And we are going to be willing to abide by the decision of the majority. That's the American way. If we harm this man, we are guilty of the same tactics you hate him for. On the other hand, if we treat him with kindness and consideration, we might be able to convert him to our way of thinking. That's the, uh, that's the Christian way. Okay. Now, me, I'm American, too. I was born right in Chicago. But my people are from Czechoslovakia. Ever hear of that place? I say, let's throw him overboard and then stick around and watch him drown. When he goes down, I'll dance a jig like Hitler did when France went down. Me, too. Just for the record, I'm an American myself. I'm in a kind of a spot. My name is Schmidt, but I changed it to Smith. That's what I got against these guys more than anything else. They make me ashamed of the name I was born with. I got a lot of relatives in Germany, and for all I know, this guy may be one of them. I say throw him to the sharks. Now, Gus. I don't say it wouldn't be a pleasure, mind you, but we haven't got the right. The right? What do you mean, the right? Well, he's a prisoner of war. Got to be treated as such. The way his son is to hang on to him until we're picked up, then turn him over to the proper authorities. Till such time we represent the authorities. That's clear, isn't it? You see what I mean, miss? I don't understand any of it. I don't understand people hurting each other and killing each other. I just don't understand it. What are you doing in a uniform? I'm doing the only thing I can. Trying to put them together again when they get hurt. As far as the Germans are concerned, I... I agree with Stanley. So do I. I'll talk to the man. Maybe I can get some information from him. Material for your book? Incidentally. George? What do you say, Joe? Do I get to vote, too? Why? Why, certainly. I guess I'd rather stay out of this. How about you, sister? My baby's dead. Does anyone know? 
the service for burial at sea? Well, I, I suppose any prayer would do. As we see now, uh, the Lord is my shepherd, uh, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He, uh, he, uh, he leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness, for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Much of this stuff is any use to us. There's much we can do with these food compartments. Well, at any rate, things are getting ship shape. None of the boys are thanking if it's smashed. The water break has been taped up in the morning. We'll bring up a sail and get going. In the meantime, I think we'd all better try and get some sleep. Uh, hope I don't forget to wake me for my watch. We better send up another flare soon. How do you feel, darling? Better, thank you. Much better. I've been asleep long. Not very. What's this? Mrs. Porter let you have coat to help keep you warm. It's a beautiful coat. Is it real meek? I hope so. It's lovely. I've always admired meek. It's the most ladylike fur there is, I always say. So warm and comfortable. Thank you so much for letting me wear it. Where's Johnny? Where's my baby? What have you done with him? What did you do with my baby? Your baby's dead. Don't you remember? You killed him, didn't you? Poor little thing. You see. So big and terrible. Johnny. It's Mum. Where are you? Where are you, Johnny? Johnny. Let me go. Let me go. Get a rope, somebody. We've got to tie it down. Here you go. Let me go to him. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, good morning, Sparks. Sleep on watch. It's a fine thing. I ought to be court-martialed. I wonder how much we've drifted. Not very far without sea anchor, huh? Oh, the sea anchor, of course, yes. You know, I had no idea what those things looked like. I thought they were big, heavy iron things with a hook to hold us on the sea bottom. You threw that thing out. I thought it was some sort of a toy parachute or something. Did they really keep the boat from drifting? Last time I was adrift, a sea anchor held us up 48 hours in a storm. Oh, you've been talking to before? That's right. Twice. How long before you were picked up? Last time it was 43 days. 43? That must have been awful. Yeah, we did get a bit sunburned. And of course, we had a good sound boat. Plenty of food and water, everything intact. This will have meat plenty, too? A good deal of our food's been ruined. Three out of the four water breakers have been smashed. A lot of water leaked out of the fourth one before it was taped. What worries me is the compass. Knocked to pieces. That's a bit awkward. And of course, this Jerry. Ah, good morning, Mr. Porter. What's good about it? How soon do we get picked up? Good morning, Connie. We were just discussing that. Seems there's no way of telling. Did you sleep well? Not awake. Not only that, I froze. I only had my fur coat to keep. Oh. Where's Miss Higley? I'm sorry, folks. I'm terribly sorry. 
It's black when I reached Quebec. I couldn't see a thing. For all I know, it might have happened during your watch. Minus eight minutes. Kovac, Osley Sale coming along. Coming along. Like, sir? Uh, no, thanks. I think I'll hoard this heater till we get someplace. Well, folks, I've been taking inventory, and we're in the black. A going concern. There's no use lying around waiting to be picked up. And we might have to wait as long as uh, 43 days, so we might have to get organized. The first order of business is department heads. Uh, Sparks? Yes, Mr. Redmaster. All me and we're all in the same boat. Yes, sir. Red. Box, you're uh, in charge of navigation. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, George? Call me, Joe. Your name, Joe? Yes, sir. Well, Joe, it is. You are head of the commissary. Yes, sir. Connie, will you keep the ship log, please? Right over, Joe, providing I control the copyright and all publication rights, including the Scandinavian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mr. Kennedy, now you are in charge of sick bay. You see, I'm looking now. I think we have a skipper. Who elected Mr. Rittenhouse? Mr. Rittenhouse? Rich, you. Who did this cable call? Sure. Until the sail goes up. We never should let him stay on board. I'll eat our food, drink our water, and double cross his first chance he gets. What are you afraid of? He's one against seven. It was eight yesterday, or have you forgotten? There's a piece in here about some people that were adrift in a lifeboat for 80 days. Say, maybe we can beat that record. Heaven forbid. We might even get the newsreels. Rosie'd get a bang out of that. It's a reminder of the first cup we won in the garden for marathon dancing. We danced 80 consecutive hours. Consecutive? Well, 10 minutes off every four hours for coffee, cake, stuff like that. I mean. How'd you feel after 80 hours of dancing? I had a slight headache, but Rosie, she was just getting wound up. She grabbed the cab, went right over to Rosalind. Does she work there? She lives there. <laughs> How does the leg feel now? It don't feel at all. I wish I could walk around. I sure hope that thing don't leave me gimpy. Al would love that. Who's Al? Al Magaruddin. He's an Armenian rug cutter. Knew Rosie before I did. He's got four arches. Keeps him out of the drip, but not out of Roseland. Kovac, you know something about machinery, don't you? A little. See if we can fix this class. Mrs. Porter, I've read a lot of your stuff. You want to know what's the matter with it? No, do tell me. You've been all over the world. You've met all kinds of people. You never write about them. You only write about yourself. You think this whole war is a show put on for you to cover like a Broadway play? And if enough people die before the last act, maybe you might give it four stars. Come on, Spikes. All right, Tavaric. Now listen to me. Heads up! Joe! Man the television! We swear it away! Well, folks, we're underway. Where to? Huh? Where are we going? First operator said we were added for Bermuda. Oh, good. Miss Fox, you better take the tiller. Yes, sir. Uh, what about the course? Does anybody here know the course of Bermuda? I was at the wheel when we got punctured. The course was 115 east southeast. Fine east southeast it is. Yes, sir. But uh, where is east southeast? Without a compass, it's the matter the sun. The sun this high is pretty hard to tell the points of the compass. I think it's out that way. Do you think? Doesn't anybody know? Can you use the rich to most you lost time, Gabriel? It is in. Here. He says east, south, east, in that direction. How does he know? Well, he ought to know. I was on the best as you boats operating around here, wasn't it? Do you suppose he led us to Bermuda, British territory? Exactly. Haben Sie keine Angst, als Gefangene nach Bermuda zu kommen? Ich bin hier auch nicht Gefangene. In Bermuda habe ich wenigstens gutes Essen und ein Bett. He says he'd rather be a prisoner of war in Bermuda than here. At least he'd have good food and a bed. I wouldn't trust anything he says. Go back to yourself, prejudice, you can't think straight. Now, if anybody is in a position to know where we are and where Bermuda is, he's the one. Who says so? We'll follow the Germans' course. Who elected you, Skipper? Well, I, of course, if there's anybody else you prefer, what do you know about a ship? Among other things, he just happens to own a shipyard, that's all. Has he ever been in it? He has thousands of employees. Of course he knows how to handle men. Not in a lifeboat. What we need is an able seaman, and we've got one. Who, me? I'm a disabled seaman. Anyhow, I never did have no executive ability yet. I think maybe Sparks did. No, not me. I know a bit about navigation, but when it comes to taking charge of a boat, well, what about Kovac? That tongue run this boat? With what? An oil can? If you're talking about a skipper, we have a skipper right on this boat. He wasn't the captain, wasn't he? The captain? Yeah. Well, I'm a monkey's uncle. There, you have a man who's familiar with these waters. He knows seamanship and he knows navigation. What about it? Do you mean you want to turn the boat over to the man who sunk our ship and shut our lifeboats? I mean, I want you to turn the boat over to the man obviously best qualified to run it. You're crazy. Now, wait a minute. There are two sides of everything. Let's look at this thing straight, calmly, and reasonably. The German is just as anxious to get to safety as we are. And if he's a train skipper, why shouldn't he take charge? Because I'm taking charge. Since when? As of now, I'm skipper. And anybody don't like it can get out and swim to Bermuda. What about that? I'll buy it. Suits me? 
What about you, miss? I'm for it. Yes, sir. Well, with the rest of Reed. All right, Commissar, but what's the course? Well, we... Which way to six bucks? Out there. No, no. The man has no idea. So come and go further into the sea. The Mura is in this direction. Ost, sud, ost. He says if you go your way, you'll only head further out to sea. He insists the course of the Mura is that way. We'll head this way. Take the teller's box. Careful. Including the Scandinavian. Awful. I didn't see the next mistakes to lost my typewriter. That typewriter would be everywhere. Rome, Berlin, Paris, London. All quit browsing. Why shouldn't I browse? Little by little, I'm being stripped of all my earthly possessions. First, my beautiful stocking. Then, my camera. I don't mind the loss of the camera so much, but the film. I get positively ill when I think about it. Hey, do you remember the boom we had after the last war? You know the boom we're going to have after this one? Make the last one look like a mild flurry. Then, my steamer rug goes. Then my fur coat and now my typewriter. Big China, for example. Four hundred million customers waiting to sign on the dotted line as soon as peace is declared. I never should have taken the phrase. You've gone by clipper. Me too. I'd have been in Spain with this time. Spain? Are you going to the State Department? State Department? Certainly not. I'm going to C.J. Rittenhouse. What for? What for? Why, my dear fellow. Fight down, Rick, the gay pay What are you doing with my memo pad? I brought it for me. Make a deck of cards. Of course, it's just curtains over my bag. It was open. How about a little drop poker? That should be fine. Did you win? The deck you made, Dollars? Well, what are you going to play for? Dollar limit? That'll do for a starter. Cut for deal. Right. You do. What are those letters on your diaphragm? Love letters. Oh, bleak and appetizing. Open. Never could understand this quaint habit of making a billboard out of one's torso. Okay. Three cards. I must say, however, you've shown the most commendable delicacy in just tattooing the initial, not printing the names, addresses, and telephone numbers. Open. Lines, Queens. See, how many are they? One, two, three, four, five. Remind me to show you the rest of them sometime. Your deal, my boy? And she you deal them off the top. You mean you're used to having people deal off the bottom? Whatever it is, your deal is I never thought I'd go into it. I used to think the sight of blood. What made you join the Merchant Marine? I don't know. Never thought about it. I suppose it was because I lived at Greenwich. Maybe it was the river there and the ships. It's the first time I've ever been to sea. I was born and raised in a weak country. Now, sometimes when the wind blows through the wheat, it looks something like the sea. Oh. It's not a bad life, the Merchant Marine, except for the U-boats. After a while, you got sick and even them in your stride. It's rather scary the first time I was there. I'm glad the fellow was torpedoed. My dear young lady, what an extraordinary thing to say. What are you doing that for? It's the bandage loaded. It's too tight. It's oh, wait, let me. Holy mackerel. Hey, it a Lulu? What about it, miss? I don't know. I'm afraid it's... It's more like a leg of lamb, don't it? As bad as it's business. Yes, Lee. Get away from here. Tell him to get back to his place before I throw him overboard. The plan was amputated. What did he say? Amputated? Here? Yeah. Jetzt gleich? So schnell wie möglich. Wenn wir warten könnten, bis wir Pflanzen los sind. Das ist zu gefährlich. Ist das so schnell? Ich fürchte ja. Aber wir haben kein Instrument. Egal, die Operation muss gemacht werden. Oder der Mann stirbt. Was? I'm afraid your leg's very bad. Gangrene? Ja. Gangrene. You'll have to be amputated at once. I've never even assisted in an amputation. Ich weiß nicht. Vielleicht halten Sie es für unangebracht, meine Dienste in Anspruch zu nehmen. Aber ich bin vom Beruf Chirurg. Ich habe viele Amputationen gemacht. He says being an enemy and technically a prisoner, perhaps you wouldn't want to trust him with the operation. But he's willing to do it. What the devil does he know about it? He says he was a surgeon in civilian life. He's done many operations. If he did, they were probably illegal. He's a medical man. Why isn't he in medical service? I don't know, and I don't care. Perhaps the gangrene isn't legal either, but it's there. The leg has to come off. No dice. How do I know operation? John, you want to live, don't you? Not with one leg. Don't be a sad guess. You don't understand. Sure I do. Rosie. What's Rosie got to do with it? Everything. If I lose my leg, I lose Rosie. Of course, I don't know Rosie. She loves to dance. It's her hobby. It's her whole life. Put yourself in her place. Do you like to dance? Mad about it. Well, then what good's a headcat with one gam missing? If my leg goes, Rosie goes. Oh, she's that kind of a... Don't you call Rosie that kind of a... I ought to know I introduced you to her, didn't I? No, you didn't. Al Magarulian introduced me to her. I knew her before Al Magarulian did. Al Magarulian? The heck with Al Magarulian. What's he got to do with it? Rosie's as good as anybody. And a darn sight better. She was the right kind of a woman. Go back, you take that back. Darling, you don't pay any attention to this human 24. See, now you listen to me. I don't know Rosie, but I know women. Some of my best friends are women. And one of them's that kind of a... What kind of a... Well, an independent creature who lives her own life. That's Rosie all over. With a heart of gold, and she gives it away. 
Rosie would give the shirt off her back to anybody. She's got a heart as big as her head. And you want to break it? Who, me? Well, you'd rather die than trust her. Who says I don't trust her? Tell Magaruti I don't trust. He knew her before I did. She swore to me there was nothing between them. Maybe there wasn't. But Rosie's human like everybody else, and it ain't like we was married or had a home and all. Maybe we should have got hitched before I left on that last trip. I should have took care of that insurance. Rosie kept asking me about it. The kid's always thinking of me. That's why you've got to think of her. Back home, putting on a big show, laughing and dancing, pretending to be having a good time. And all the while, her heart's aching. Torn and flown in this Not knowing whether you're dead or alive. And then at last to find out that you risked your life, perhaps even died. Just because you had no faith in her? God forgive me. Poor kid, she'd be broken hearted, wouldn't she? Well, let's go. What are we all waiting for? Let the busy swap for you. It's enough stuff in there. Keep on any time, Mother. You'll need a pail of water, Joe. How many medicaments are dizzy? Is there any sort of anesthetic? Nothing. None. You have some brandy, haven't you? Get Connie? Yes, I've been here. He says brandy's better than nothing. Did I hear brandy? Oh, oh thanks, Joe. You open it for me? That's right, it's just here. Here, darling. Ah, you always sold her. Oh, there's some apping in there, good. You'll need a tourniquet, a belt or something. Oh, you're coming in here. How much are belts, Bikes? Here it is. Get it, Joe. It's nice knowing you. Oh, for now, I'm sure Mr. Bootsman's kissed him. Oh, Joe, he wants a needle and twine from the uh, boat kit or something. It's in a dirty bag, Joe. Ah! Am I going to feel good pretty soon? Go back. Why'd you want to say that about Rosie? Say what? What you said. I'm sorry, Gus. Take it back. OK, I take it back. What can we use the faucets? Can I have a pair of tweezers? I've got tweezers. Yes, yes Joe, we found in our bag, the little earth box on the top. Right. Ask him how much of that stuff he can drink. If you let off, can I drink? So if you don't Go ahead, Gus, the works. Down the hatch. I'll never forget you. Ich brauche ein reines Tuch oder irgendetwas, um das Verbandzeug draufzulegen. Mein Schreibmaschinenpapier? Gut. Joe, clear away some of that stuff. We'll lay it out here. We need something for weights to hold it on. All right. You know what I think of that no good snake in the grass friend of yours, Al Magaronian? Magaronian is no friend of mine. Magaronian is a skunk. Who like it, skunk? I hate his guts. You're okay, pal. Hello. Hi, Gus. Well, anyway, it's an experience. I ought to have my head examined. I didn't have to go to sea. I could have got a job in a defense plant, making good dough. I could have joined the army, or even the navy. Instead of that, I got a sign and I stick it over a rust bucket. Mr. Rittenhouse. Yes, sir. Call me, Gus. Hi, Baba. Hi, Toots. Give us a kiss, man. Joe, why don't you stop playing for it? Come on, give us a little music. No, no, none of that slicker music. Come on, come on, boogie it up, boogie it up. Don't sit under the apple tree for anyone else but me. Go skiing the bed. Let's go to reach you, maybe, Charlie. Tell him to hold the boat as steady as possible. Steady as you go, Sparks. Right out. Anyone else but me? 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 Say anything like that. Just because she likes to dance and have a good time. Nobody's gonna call Rosie. Hey, Kovac. You're a no good heel.
and my flatling, as much as you can. Take that dress, Wood. All right, look alive now, Sparks. Right now. Inside straight, I'll cut your throat. You know, it's like if a customer had somebody aboard who knew how to meet an emergency like this. Tim McCarthy. You know, by God, the thing got you to the master. I don't know, Mr. Simmons. He's just a little upset. Stray won't get to get into school. And what's he doing? When we're getting Stray won't have one of the stairs. Stray won't be the same constant. It's the end of the direction and tempo. It must all be in the navigation and direction. Naturally. So, what are you two gabbing about? Currents. Not the car kind, darling, the ocean kind. Fascinating subject, currents. They're either for you or against you. Connie, darling, do you stay or do you pass? The Rick, darling, I've already stayed. Yeah, well, it'll cost you two bucks more. Oh. Is there anything I do for Susan? Connie. Hold your horses, darling, we're in a conference. Hearts, women, and poker. I'll stay. Unfortunately, her capitae seems to think we're on a favoring current and quite swift. We've got a favoring breeze, too. Good. Then we ought to be in Bermuda in no time. I hope so, for Gus's sake. That is, if we're on the right course. Well, do you still think we're not? Well, you didn't say anything about it. Well, ask him. That was even honest to Christophsis. This is only comfort she had to say. I'm kind of sure that comfort. He was pretty certain a few hours ago. Yeah. I wonder if he made him change his mind. That room happens here in mind again, does it? Yeah, we're in for the stream where it was abgetrieben worden. He probably drifted somewhat on the count of the current. We've been through all that. What's he doing in this part of the boat, anyway? Why, is he in quarantine? Tell him to get back to the bar where he belongs. I'll do nothing of the sort. You may be skip of his life, but you're not dictator. Or are you? Now, wait a minute, Colbeck. There's no sense treating a man like a leper. He didn't save Gus's life, you know. By the time being, after all, it was an emergency operation. Don't you realize it's imperative we get Gus to hospital as soon as possible? Sure, I do. Well, then why not listen to somebody who knows? The music is not making this good. When Sie glauben, that's a good That's how we can speak that. Aber Sie glauben es. In my life, I have no meaning to have. I'm not in an unmöglichen situation. How do you like that? Now he's in yours. He won't take responsibility. But that's not the point. The point is, are we headed for Bermuda? What's come over the man? Anyway, all you've got to do is answer yes or no. Herr Kapitän, we're bidding Sie immediately, my new. We're all here. Ich führe das Boot nicht. Haben wir oder haben wir nicht, Kusak Müller? Bitte, gnädige Frau. Antworten Sie, ja oder nein? Nein. He admits we're on the wrong course. He admits? He's only saying what he said before. Well, I had to drag it out of him. He said... I don't care what he says. Yeah, but suppose he's right. It's my funeral. No, it's not. It's Gus's funeral. Whose funeral? Hey, wait a minute. What is this? Oh, well, huh? How do you feel now, huh? In the pink. I said I'm a little hangover. Right now, I'd give the other leg for a cigarette. Guess maybe I lost a little weight. You'll be all right, Gus. You did a swell job. Thank you, Shane. Well, Skipper, how soon do we get to Bermuda? Pretty soon, Gus. We've got a good breeze and a favoring current. There's a little difference of opinion about the direction we're headed. The trouble is, I'm not sure about our course. I'm only sure of one thing. I don't trust that Nazi. There must be other submarines around, and he knows where they are. Or maybe a supply ship. He knows where that is, too. On general principle, I'd cop anything he says. That's how I stand. You agree with me, Sparks? No. Does anybody agree with me? You're the skipper. 
All right, Sparks. Follow the German's course. Get from a husband. It's gorgeous. Ah, uh, first husband. Glad the pressure was complete. What? That's what you said yesterday. That's a stupid thing to say. I didn't mean it exactly. What did you mean exactly? I only meant I was rather glad that we. Well, I wasn't particularly anxious to get to London. What are you afraid of, Blood? Myself. I mean, uh, it's a personal problem. In other words, I. I know, darling, I know. Genus homo. Male. And married. But not to me. You call that a problem? It is to me. Fiddlesticks. I don't want to pry into your personal affairs, darling, but do you know what's the matter with you? You've been reading Kipling. The sins you do by two and two. You must pay for one by one. Of course, I don't know who the guy is. I know men. Especially married men. Some of my best friends. because I've never told anybody. I think I'd rather tell you than anybody. His name is Stephen. He's a doctor. He worked in the same hospital. All the time I knew he was married. His wife's a fine woman, and, and they have two beautiful children. So you see, it was hopeless. It was quite hopeless. Of course, I, I see. Well, we both decided to forget about it. And when he enlisted and was sent to London, I was glad. I was really glad. I tried to forget him, but I couldn't. He wrote several times. I never answered. And then when I was assigned to London myself, well, I knew if we met there, away from home, away from everything. I'm sorry. Maybe I better wait till I get home and take it up with Mr. Hoos. It's on a goodwill hour. Sometimes that program's funny. Sometimes it isn't a bit. When the people are in trouble, they turn themselves inside out. Seem to feel better when they get some sort of an answer. Whether they get an answer or not, they feel better. Thank you, Stan. Lovely night we're having. Lost the stars out tonight. I remember the night before we was taught Peter Nolan was taught. Uh, he, he was my first. Yes, I met him. That's on right, the yes. He was telling me all about his wife going to stay with her family in Bermuda and how it's changed since the war. And he told me that... Um, I remember, as he pointed out, our course over the bows, I saw the planet Mars low on the horizon. That's Mars over there to the right. And that's Venus. We're headed for Venus. We're going east. We're not heading for Bermuda. We're heading to miss Bermuda. But we'll see about that. Go back, I still say we have no right to condemn the men without a hearing. And perhaps the course he gave us was wrong, but that doesn't prove anything. He might have been mistaken. When I questioned him yesterday concerning the course, he didn't want to commit himself. He said he couldn't be sure without a compass. The thing to do is to wake him up and question him. What for? If it doesn't with lies, that's what he was brought up on. And I was brought up on the idea that the man was innocent until he's proved guilty. What do you want me to do? Appoint one of us to be his lawyer? But don't you see without a compass? Mrs. Porter, remember yesterday you looked at your watch and told the German the time? Yes. Did he ask you the time? Of course he did. That's funny. What's funny about it? He had a watch of his own. Well, what of it? If he had a watch, why would he have to ask Mrs. Porter about the time? That doesn't prove anything. Lots of times I have my own watch in my pocket and I ask somebody else for the time. Lots of people do that. It just, uh, it just saves time, that's all. But he looked at his own watch just before he asked Mrs. Porter. That's his own watch, is I remember when he asked for the time, he took a squint at the sun. Have you tried to do convict the man because he looks at the sun? Is it a crime to ask for the time? Certainly not. What time is it? Ten past seven. I think you're slow. Slow? That's a pretty past eight. I want to know what time it is by the German's watch. Well, why don't you wake him up and ask him? You don't have to wake him up. That was your room. 
Joe. Yeah? All right. Huh? Do your stuff. What stuff? I don't know what you mean. He means Frisco for his turn. You know I cut that stuff out a long time ago. But this is an emergency. The folks will understand. Understand what? Joe used to be one of the best on the road. Now, wait a minute, Gus. You ain't got no right bringing up what used to be. That's all right, Joe. Some of my best friends are. No. Well, I need a pledge, a solemn pledge. Do you want to commit mutiny? Is it an order? It's an order. I can't. The guy's asleep. Well, that's a break, isn't it? Yeah, but it's like it's like shooting a sitting duck. Quick, Stalling. If you've got some spotters, you'll wake him up when I get the ticker. Now you know the right time. Dirty double crossing, right? Cool. What are you going to do? What do you think we're going to do? Don't see me. I'm not consent with a thing like this. Insulting you, I'm not consulting anybody. There's only one thing we have to do with the guy. But call back, it's, it's murder. It's execution. No, we can't. We must. There must be some other way. Why come time up? Keep a watch on him. Let him have it, Colbeck. Right now. I'm not telling you, man. You might have to wait for this night. Then in the morning. What are you so squeamish about? We're warned. You've been here to see him kill, haven't you? In battle, yes. Not in Colbeck like this. Look out! Stanley! German lullabies to us while he roars us to his supply ship and a concentration camp. <laughs> tell him, Willie, tell him how funny it is. That isn't funny. It's logical. Now that we've been blown off our course, it would take us weeks to get to Bermuda. Certainly, it's perfectly logical. The supply ship is our only chance. You know how I feel about that. I'd rather take my chances with the sharks. They'll never make it. Without food and water, how long do you think you keep on roaring like this? Long enough, Mr. Kovac, to reach my objective. Are you sure, Willie? No. Well, maybe one of us had better try to relieve him with the oil. That's not necessary. Maybe I can take over for a while. Never mind, I'll roll. How can you keep on rowing, Willie, hour after hour? The rest of us can hardly enough to know. It's the master race. The heron folk. 
Do you know they can do anything? I'm beginning to believe it. Right living is what does it. Or as the French say, qui tout se couche bien se porte. Sacre bleu. You speak French also. Yes, I spent some time in Paris. Oh, yes. Tell me, Willie, why didn't you speak English when you first got on the boat? Well, you see, I didn't know then whether I could trust you or not. Have you Schmidt? Name is Smith. All right, Mr. Smith. How do you feel today? Same as yesterday. Thursday. All stood. Anything for the commissary yet? Not even a nibble. I'll keep on trying. You catch some fish, you'll not only have food, but drink. When you chew raw fish, there's always a little fresh water. What? There's that cloud. What a day for a ball game. St. Louis is a team to watch this year. We only had some bits. St. Louis got hit. I mean, the way Stan Musial's been clubbing him out. Sometimes How about Tom Cobb? He's pretty good, too. Got some A1 pitchers. Yeah. The Dodgers only had a guy like Ernie Bonnever, even Johnny Humphreys. Pittsburgh's a team to watch. Only 17 points below St. Louis. If we beat the Pirates and St. Louis loses to Boston. Hey, Kovac. Yeah? What do you think of pitch for Pittsburgh today? I don't know. I haven't been following the games much this season. Probably Wyatt for the Dodgers. Sewell for the Pirates. Yeah. Probably the Sewell pass. I think I'll take Rosie. Where to this? Epic Street. It's going to be a good game this afternoon. Rip. He's off the beam again. Well, will you have another song, huh? Certainly, my friend. What would you like to hear? You think you can remember Roseland after I Sure, sure. Which one was that? Oh, yeah, I know that one. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All right. Oh, I got it. Sank now by the Roseland stream. Roseland after I did. War so jung und morgen schön, liefer schnelles nah zu sehen, saß mit tausend Freuden. Röslein, 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 Röslein auf der Heide. Rip, hm? you know how I leave it. You mean that? How oh, can I That's be the sure? Ach, wie smidig stand, dass ich dich lassen kann. Hab dich von Herzen lieb, das glaube mir. Du hast das Herz mein, so ganz schön. Was ist denn heute, Dan? Dass ich dein Herz... I can't sing anymore. Makes me dry. Does it look to you as if those clouds are darkening up? At the center a bit. Those really are rain clouds this time. I hope so. For Gussie's sake. That's right. Could you give me a break, Lou? The salt will only make you thirstier. Might just as well as the poison. Be him. Her initials are larger than the others. Was she the last? Or the first? What was her name? <laughs> so you won't talk, huh? Where'd you get the handcuff, Mrs. Porter? You may call me Connie. You did buy us during the storm, huh? You said, uh, you might as well go down together, eh, Connie? I like the way you said Connie. You'd like to soften the jaw? Tell me about the bracelet. That was a dead giveaway, you know, darling, wanting us to die together like that. Dying together is even more personal than living together. What'd you pay for the bracelet? No. Barter? <laughs> You're a low person, darling. Obviously, I've got it. Maybe that's why I'm attracted to you. Maybe that's why you're attracted to me. Good swimming. And a part of it is, I'm from the same gutter. Remember when you first got on the boat, you said you used to work in the, uh, the packing house section in Chicago? Well, I came from there, too. Southside? Ashton Avenue. Look at the yard. And I lived there till I got this. It worked miracles for me. It took me from the uh, south side to the north side. It's my passport from the stockyards to the Gold Coast. It got me everything I wanted. Up to now. Quit slumming. How about a few hands, Rich? That suits me fine.
Do this up for me. Honey, I'll fix it for you. Come on, Rick. Well, back, how much do I owe you? 12,000 bucks. Merely temporary, my friend. I'll get it back. Deal. Looks, Looks like bits of ice. ice. Yes, they were. They're really nothing but a few pieces of carbon. Crystallized under high pressure, great heat. Quite so, but you want to be scientific about it. I'm a great believer in science. Like tears, for instance. They're nothing but H2O with a trace of sodium chloride. He likes it, but he hates the bracelet. We'll have to get rid of it. Bracelet? Mm -hmm. I've worn it for 15 years. It's probably nothing but good luck. He hates it. I wouldn't take it off for anything or anybody in the world. In the old days, there was a place in Boston, Young's Hotel, had the best restaurant in the world. But it wasn't any better than Henry C's Coffee House in Chicago. Or book buyers in Philly, that was food for you. Yeah, it's fixed. In Munich, there is a place called Lorber's. Their specialty is pot roast. Pot roast. Young's used to have a menu 150 pages long. Yes, sir. 150 solid pages of Eatman's. And oh, boy, what Eatman's. Ever eaten Antoine's in New Orleans? <sighs> Can't compare with Young's. You never tasted this food in your life, especially with seafood. Steamed clams dripping with melted butter. Lobsters. Lobsters out of Newburgh with a special white wine sauce. Rick, shut up! What's wrong? Stop jabbering about food! There's enough to be lost all our supplies for your carelessness. Carelessness? Yes, stupid criminal carelessness! But it wasn't me. I wasn't in charge of the food. The commissary was Joe's job. You dirty rat trying to shift the blame onto Joe. Well, maybe it wasn't. No, it wasn't. If you had the brains of an ant, you'd take a cab and saw the storm coming. My dear Connie, what's the matter with you? He's all right, just a little bit hungry. What are you squawking about when you write your book? It'll make a swell chapter. I feel to be starving. First person singular. Those are good things to write about hunger and thirst. If you really come from back of the yard, look. Go ahead. Punch up your willy. Punch up your willy. Not be cut to still like you said you would. I'll tell you why. You're not strong enough. He's made of iron. The rest of us are just flashing blood. Hungry, flashing blood. <laughs> I love him, Mike, but you throw that ratty cigar stuff away. Why should I? Does it you? Yes, it makes me nervous watching you chew on it all the time. But it makes me feel good. Oh, you feel good, do you? That's fine. Fine. Rid, how much money are you worth? I don't know enough to buy inside you a million times. How about raising the ad? Anything you say. From now on, each stick is $100. Anything you say. Deal them. Anything you... <clears throat> how many factories do you own, Rick? What business is out of yours? I was just thinking, by the time we get home, I might own one of them. Get a hundred. Raise a hundred. Stay. How many cards do you want? Three. Three to deal. I think I'll go for one of your airplane plans. I've got ideas of my own about how to run a factory. Yeah, into the ground. I have a labor management committee. There's a meeting every week. And the first hey, are you trying to tell me how to run my own factories? Not all of them. Just the one I'm going to own. Been a hundred. Well, I'll see you. Queens. Kings. You know, it's mighty funny how you keep winning all the parts. I'm a lucky guy. Well, just the same. I wish we had a new deck of cards. Give me another stack of chips. It's another thousand. Jordi, oh. Sorry. Cut you in? My credit's still good? Well, now, uh, your bracelet. No, thanks. What's the score? 13,500. How about waiting the ante? It's your funeral. $1,000 a piece? Right. Okay. I'll open it a thousand. Raise you two. I'll raise you two. Call. How many? Two cards. Somebody learned doesn't pay to hold a kicker. If you live long enough. <laughs> Just to keep the packers out. I'll bet five. Match your ticker, huh? Five to bet. Put up. Or shut up. And raise your five. All right. Now you're talking my language. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I've got you over a barrel. We'll do the bookkeeping later. I'll see your five. And I'll raise you all the chips you've got, plus all the money I owe you. Come back. Looks as if you've stepped out of your class this time. See you right now. What do you got? I've got. Oh! That was my part. You couldn't possibly beat me. I have a full house. And I had four deuces. How do I know you had four deuces? You ought to know. You made the cards, didn't you? And you marked them, too. They are crooked, and you are crooked. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Get the sail.
I was at the window when she hit. My watch was just about over. When I was coming down, there was a hot shaft. When she came over, the siren was screaming. Like a human being, she was screaming. Right to the end. Uh, oh, you should have heard the sound of the rain drumming on the canvas. Most beautiful sound you ever heard in your life. I looked up, a couple of drops fell right on my lips. Hey, Joe, what's the matter? Why have you stopped playing? Come on, eat it up. Give it to Harry James. Gee, Rosie, you're an awful, an awful honey, that's what you are. Say, Rosie, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna drink. Set them up, Pete. Nice tall ones. Plenty of ice. Is to you, Rosie, baby. Oh, here's a gas. Well, he's got some water. Let's try it, Gus. I just had a tall one. Plenty of ice. Sure, Gus, sure. But Willie only had water. Let's try it. All right. Guess I'll get back to Rosie. Willie, where'd you get the water? We've been holding out on us. You must wake up the others. They are tired. Well, what about you? Is you tired? No. Me neither. I feel fine. Except my right foot's asleep. I can hardly feel it. Let me tell me. Do you think I should write to Rosie? Tell her about it? Or should I wait till I see her? Wait till you see her. Yeah, but I can't walk in on her. Can't be in a lot like this without no warning, can I? I gotta find some way to, to break it to her gentle. It'll be all right. Okay. So long, Willie. Goodbye, Gus. I'll never forget what you've done for me. If there's anything I can ever do for you, just let me know. There is something you can do for me. Remember, your name is Schmidt. You like it better than Smith? Much better. You better hurry, Gus. She's waiting. Okay. I warned you, Mr. Drinker. Rosie's waiting for you. Why don't you share it with the rest of us? Shh. You must wait them. Okay, Ray. Why don't you go off to Rosie? She's waiting for your Roseland. There. You see the light? Gus. He's gone over. No use then. Gus! Wait on the... Gus! Willie, what is it? What's happened? Schmidt went over the side. He was calling my name. That's what woke me. I can't imagine how painful it was to me. All night long to watch him turning and suffering and nothing I could do for him. Why did you stop rowing? Why should I? To help him. The best way to help him was to let him go. I had no right to stop him. Even if I wanted to. A poor cripple dying of hunger and thirst. What good could, could life be to a man like that? He was trying to tell me something, if I could only remember. He's better off now, out of his trouble. Something about water. It was an agony from thirst. I wanted to cry, but the tears wouldn't come. No, how could they? If I remember rightly, tears are water, with a trace of sodium chloride. Isn't that so, Willie? Yeah. 
What about sweat? What's the chemical composition of sweat? Water. With a trace of something or other. Now I remember. Gus said Willie had some water. Yeah, right under his shirt. Quite so. I took the precaution of filling the flask from the water breakers before the storm, just in case of emergency. And I had food tablets and energy pills, too. Everybody in the U-boat has them. You should be grateful to me for having the foresight to think ahead. To survive, one must have a plan. But there's nothing to worry about. Soon we'll reach the supply ship, and then we'll all have food and water. Too bad Schmidt couldn't have waited. Yeah. my dying day, I'll never understand Willie. Nobody did. First, he tried to kill us all with his torpedoes. Nevertheless, we faced him out of the sea, took him aboard, shared everything we had with him. He was all even grateful. All he could do was to plot against us. Then he, he let poor old Gus die of thirst. What do you do with people like that? Maybe one of us ought to try to row. Where to? What for? Nah. When we killed the German, they killed our motor. No. We still got a motor. No? Yeah. Who? Nah. We're through. Are you afraid? No. I think so. If we had got out of it, I... I was going to ask you to marry me. What do you think you'd have said? I think I would have said yes. Well then, whatever happens, I'd like you to marry me. Congratulations. Well, that's settled. And what now, little men? I've been a widower for 18 years. We never had any children. All I leave behind me is a great many millions of dollars. I hope they do somebody some good. So we're all going to fold up and die. Just because that is our Superman is gone. My only regret is that in the end, I joined a mob. Baloney. You went to mob when we killed him. The mob we sat around. Prisoners the man was saved. Cow time to him, but he had to be hiding. Because he was kind enough and strong enough to take us to a concentration camp. Good grief, look at you. Rittenhouse. C.J. Rittenhouse. Self-made man. Made of what? As long as you're sitting there thinking of your last will and testament. I'll write your epitaph for you now. Rit, he quit. That goes for you too, Narcissus. It's a good thing there's room on that chest of yours for another letter. Tune for quitter. And you, Joe. It's all right for you to look up and trust in somebody. How about giving him a hand? What's the matter with us? We not only let the Nazi do our rowing for us, but our thinking. You gods and little fishes. Fishes. You gods. We haven't got energy pills. But the ocean's full of the millions of fish swimming around. Well, why don't we catch some? We tried that. We have no bait. Sure, we have bait. I caught you. Are you kidding? Kidding my foot. I'm starving. Well? 
What are you waiting around for? Where's the fish line? Betcha large, huh? Not only food, but oil. We can squeeze the fish for oil. It's better than water. I can recommend the bait. I ought to know. I've been on it myself. I've never eaten raw fish before. Uh, I have. It's not bad. You better not count out chickens before they hatch. What do you mean, chickens? <laughs> there never yet was a poor fish that wouldn't bite on one of those. the last word at that. Well, some of my best friends are in concentration camps. You suppose they'll have any coffee aboard? Real coffee. Hello! What do you say? He says yes, they have some coffee. And Wiener schnitzel and pig's knuckles and sauerkraut and apple strudel. Hot. Look, supply ship signaling. What's that thing? Why are they turning round? Maybe yeah, they've got the cream for the coffee. They're not going to pick us up. Hey! Well, that's, that's impossible. They can't use it like this. Why? Well, that's inhuman. As a matter of fact, it's a violation of international law. Now there's a storm coming up. No, that's gunfire! That'd be a good idea to get out of here. You know, I believe we're being shelled by our own side. They're shooting at us. What's the matter? Can't they see us? I can't be signaling with something. With what? Where are we going? Let's go. She's moving towards us. Hurry up, Kovac. Can't you boys go any faster? Oh, 
Oh, here, darling. No, darling. You first. Yes, darling, yes. Because one of my best friends is in the Navy. Oh, nice, mighty nice. The boy goes to high school. Really? What's his name? George. Oh. George Charles Spencer. Lovely family, George. Lovely family. Oh, thanks. Stanley, do you realize I don't even know your last name? G-A-R-R-E-T-T. Garrett. Garrett. And I presentable, darling. Have a look. Come in here. 50 grand. Go back, my boy. I owe you 50 grand. Forget that last hand, Rich. I will never forget that last hand. Don't be silly, darling. You'll find a way to take it off his income tax. Not at all, not at all. And don't forget, you owe me a bracelet. Yes. And a typewriter. Sure. And a camera. You bet. And a... No! Let's get his coat off. Hey, wait a minute. Have you forgotten about Willie already? But Red, this is different. The kids wouldn't be. Throw him back. Don't be silly, darling. He's helpless. He's only a baby. 